Carrasco, not very good numbers. Too many walks for a guy that has averaged less than three walks per nine innings over his career already with six for Nolasco. Four runs, two each in the second inning of his two starts. And a great way to get the game started with an easy out of Aoki. Now he has faced some hitters like Infante. And Aoki. Aoki, yep. Swing and a miss and a good start for Nolasco. A chopper back to the mound and now a strikeout for the second out. Nolasco was long gone by the time the game was decided. Chop toward first. Mauer gets it in the bread basket, goes to the bag. 0 oh 2 from Nolasco. And he put Butler away on three pitches. Popped up behind third. Ploof in foul ground. Ends the inning. Kane Escobar and Aoki scheduled. Another strikeout for Nolasco. He's third of the ballgame. Minnesota math at its finest. Nolasco <laughs> will get another assist. Were they going to score enough runs? Well, they definitely have. Loramon waits. Throws the Mauer. Hard hit. Bluff sets and fires. And another one, two, three inning for Alaska. Five to four. The Twins with the edge. And leading on the scoreboard as you see, seven to one. Tapper to short. Loramon sets. And fires to end the inning. The coaches are here. Sometimes they get, you know, overlooked of what they do, but it's up to the player to want to get better. And that's what Fluke has been, been doing. Alaska challenges Butler with a high fastball. He swings through it. Chopper to short. Easy play for Floramone. Seven complete. Just one run allowed for Ricky Alaska. Bounce to the right side. Well, Fielbar shut it down out in the bullpen. Alasco cleans up the eighth inning, and the Twins lead seven to one.